Hi, welcome back to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike, and we have another fantastic recipe for you today. <laughs> if you like eating at Cracker Barrel like I do, and I, you know, Pam and I eat there once in a while. It's not like we go there that often, but I always like to get their breakfast, and I like to get those fried apples. Love those stinking fried apples. Do you like the fried apples? Let me know in the comments. I do. And I always say, you know what? I know I'm going to make this at home, and I've made it before. I've kind of winged it, and it comes out good. But this time, I kind of critiqued the recipe. I looked it up. There's a whole bunch of people making fried apples. You know, it's all over YouTube, all over everything. But you know what? I added a couple ingredients. So if you want to know what I did, follow along. I'm going to show you what's in the ingredients right now. My recipe calls for seven golden delicious apples. But when I cooked this recently, this is all I could find at the grocery. These right here. I mean, that's like, you need at least two of those. So I decided, and so we, we made seven of these, but I decided I was only going to use five of this side. This is like large. But you don't have to worry about that because if you have a few too many apples, you can always add a little more sauce, a little more cornstarch, thicken it up just a little bit. The only thing that may happen is it might not be quite as sweet, which at that time you could add another tablespoon of sugar if you like. So it's not really rocket science, okay? So here we're going to make a sauce, and this is what we're going to make the sauce with. We have some apple juice, some sugar, white sugar. You can use brown if you like. We have cornstarch. We have some apple pie spice in here. Mmm, God, I love that stuff. And a little butter, okay? Gotta have some butter. Now, the apple juice we have here, there's two cups, this is gonna go in a skillet. You're gonna see how all this works. So basically, all you need to do is wash and core and slice them, and I'm gonna show you how to slice them in just a second, and then we're gonna get to cooking. So, hang in, let's get it going. So basically the core, I like using this core. It's a really cool one. I, I, it's called Calphalon. It's a really nice one. So basically I'm just going to stick it right over the stem. Take a look at the bottom. You know, the bottom's over here and, and I'm about to come out like right there. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit. And I don't know if you can see where it came out. Look, it's close. It's not perfect, but you can always take the rest of it out later. What's nice about this is you can just give this a little shove and the bottom comes out. Isn't that cool? Now, to cut the apple, I'm gonna cut it in half first. Like I said, if there's anything left in here that I don't want, I'll just go ahead and clean that up a little bit. The next thing is I'm gonna flip it over and uh, you can cut, start cutting from this way or you can cut it in half. It doesn't really even matter. But let me show you what I like to do. I like to cut about three quarter inch pieces, about like this. So anywhere between half and three quarters good. Don't go any less than half inch because once they get soft, you're gonna wind up with applesauce. So I like a nice big hunk like width so that it doesn't fall apart. So what I'm going to do is cut the rest of these up and get them all ready to go before we start cooking, okay? Be back in a minute. Well, I just have a little bit more to go. And I was thinking, I forgot to tell you that these are golden delicious apples. And, uh, and, and don't forget everything that I do, all the ingredients, and the amounts and everything will be in the description under the video. So, as soon as I get through with this, we'll start cooking. <laughs> Got all the apples cut up in this bowl and we're gonna start loading them in. Now, I preheated my skillet because we do have a little show going on here, but I'm gonna put all my apples in here and I'm gonna add my apple juice. Mm-hmm. There we go. Let me turn that fire up a little bit. Now that was two cups of apple juice and I have some more apple juice right here. This is the rest of it. Cause I actually have way more apples then I started off with, with this recipe. 
So let's go ahead and put in uh, about a cup more. And that's gonna be it. So we had three cups of apple, apple juice. In the meantime, I reserved, while that's coming up to boil, let me, let me get my, uh, my fork, because I need a fork to test that. Um, what we're gonna do is get our mixing bowl, and we're gonna show you how to mix up the, uh, the sauce, okay? So it's real simple. We're gonna start off with uh, apple juice, sugar, our apple pie spice, and some cornstarch. Now, we're gonna whisk this in. Now, it may not look, you can, you can get a good close-up if you like. It may not look as if it's going to whisk in, but it is going to whisk in very nicely. So you just whisk it around and get all the cornstarch mixed in. Just like this, and now you have your sauce. Pretty easy, right? Not rocket science. Over here, by the apples, well, we're just gonna wait for this to come up to a boil. It's not there yet. And uh, what I'm gonna do is put a lid on, try to help it out a little bit. And it may only take a couple of minutes, but this is how you know your apples are done. When you push that fork in and you pull it out real easy, that's how you know it's done. So give me a couple of minutes, I'll be right back and I'll show you about what fork tender looks like. Oh boy, hoo hoo, those apples are cooking down. That's what we needed. So we're gonna turn it down, it's a little bit high, turn it down to a medium flame, because we just really want it to simmer. And with the lid on, it simmers real easy. Just gonna rotate them around a little bit. You'll see how they, they're kind of settling down in this, this skillet. Let me see what's going on here. Kind of tough, see? So when you push it, it's not really, it's not that tender. Some of them are tender. Some of them need to get down and cook a little bit more. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put this lid back on and go for another minute or two. Be right back. So take a look right here at the skillet. You'll see how tender these apples are. See that fork just going right in and coming out? That's what I'm talking about. Just going right in and coming out. It's pretty easy. And that's about all you want because, see, if you go too much further than that, then you wind up with applesauce. So what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and gently scoop these apples out some of them are gonna break up, who cares? You know, uh, that's just the way it goes. So take them out, put them in a bowl. Boy, I'll tell you, I love these apples. You know, and it's, I like it, not even for breakfast. I mean, I, I like them with pancakes. You, I could put this stuff on biscuits. Um, oh man, I'm telling you, I love fried apples. What about some good ice cream? Yeah, I think you could put this on ice cream, huh? <laughs> you know, we don't eat too much ice cream, but. Okay, almost there. So, the, the liquid that's left, that's the apple juice we put in, uh, and we're gonna put the fire back on. I'm gonna put it on high, because I want it bubbling real good, and now I'm gonna take this sauce that I made, whisk it around a little bit, and it's still pretty liquidy, but you'll see it's kind of bubbling a little bit here now. And so I'm just gonna pour this in. If you want more sauce, just make more sauce, y'all. 
you know, a little bit more apple juice, a little bit more cornstarch, and just add a little more butter too. Gotta have more butter. Butter, you know how to spell butter? B-U-T-T-A, that's how we say it. <laughs> butter. Okay, so here's the secret in case you didn't know. I'm, I'm sure you guys know this, but when you add cornstarch, it doesn't thicken right away. It only thickens after it gets hot. That's the reason why we're, we have the fire on. Now, I don't want it to start popping all over the place, so I'm gonna put the fire down to a medium heat. But look, look how thick this got. Isn't that gorgeous? See, that's what we're talking about. We want that thick, gorgeous sauce all over our apples. Man, I'm loving it. Don't forget, you need that butter in there. Now that your sauce has come together, add that final little touch of butter, turn the fire off, and just mix it. Just mix it in. You don't need the fire on for this, but look at that butter, how it's just melting and distributing that wonderful buttery goodness flavor in that sauce. That's what I love. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. So when all that butter melts, which is really not that much, we're just gonna pour it right over our apples. And that's it. So, see, that's really how it works. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, let me get a little taste of this. Oh, oh, oh that's good. That is good stuff. I want y'all to come right on over here. Okay, let me get my apples right here. All right, our sauce is done. Let me go ahead and pour that in here. Ooh, ooh that's gonna look good. Man, look at that, huh? Mmm. Man, that is beautiful and then just give it a little mix. So here we go. Chef Mike, right in here, pulling out some beautiful apples. And let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh, they're hot. They are smelling beautiful. Mm. Mmm, oh my god, it's hot. Mmm. The apple just melts in your mouth. Now the skin doesn't melt, but it really isn't really that chewy. It's it's just delicious. I love it. Watch, watch, I'm gonna do it again. Ready? Oh, this is so good, man. God, you guys, I wish y'all were here. I would give I, I would serve this up. Man. You know, you're talking about a good side dish for Christmas dinner. Why not have some, some uh, fried apples? Man, that is so good. I'd have that with my turkey any day. Mmm. 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 My friends, I'm telling you, this is one delicious dish, fried apples. I hope you guys have a, a great Christmas. I know we're a, practically a month away from it, but I hope you have a great Christmas. Uh, go get you some baked, I mean, uh, fried apples like this. This is wonderful. And thank you for tuning into the Sanders Kitchen. Pam and I, we're about that far away from 8,000 subscribers and we love it. We're just excited, so pumped up. So we're gonna be doing some really cool recipes to come hit that notification bell, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We love you guys. Have a great week and God bless you. By the way, did you know that there are three rules to Christmas? Let me go over the three rules with you. Number one, don't go into debt trying to let people know how much you really love them. Number two, don't go visit your family if it compromises your mental health. 
And number three, if someone comments on your weight, eat them. <laughs>